Welcome to Brain Buster. I'm your host, Ahura, and today our three contestants are Ryan, Kenny, and Julian. The, okay, um, the game is played in three rounds. The first round, we have three categories, each uh, with point values going from 100 to 300. The, uh, the person, I pick a person first time, and then they pick a category with three with a point value, and I'll ask the question, and then if you raise your hand first, you get to answer. Contestant one, Ryan, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm Ryan, and I'm a freshman. Kenny? Um, I'm Kenny, and I'm a senior. Julian? Uh, I'm Julian, and I'm a sophomore. Okay, Kenny, since you're the oldest person in the con between the contestants, you get to pick first. Ooh, animals for 300. Okay, animals 300. Taking his house with him, the slow-moving reptile lives longer than any other. Julian? Turtle. You got it right. Um, Julian? Okay, let's go Spongebob 300. Okay, Spongebob 300. What animal is Spongebob's pet Gary? Ryan? A snail. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Julian, you can pick next. Okay. Wait. You uh, pick uh, next. Uh, um, math, 200. Okay, math, 200. In 19 plus <laughs> X equals 25, what is X? Fine. Six. You got it right. Ryan, you pick next. Um, SpongeBob 200. SpongeBob 200. What is SpongeBob's <laughs> boss's name? Ryan. Mr. Krabs. Got it right. Julian. Okay. Uh, animals 100. Animals 100. Alvin, Simon, and Theodore are these cute fairy rodents. Go down, go down. Go down. Now go up again. Okay, Julian got it first. Chipmunks. You got it right. 100? Is that 100? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I didn't see who got whose hand put up first, so you have to do it again. <laughs> Kenny? Um, SpongeBob 100. What is SpongeBob's best friend's name? Ryan? Patrick. Got it right. Ryan, you pick next. Math 300. How do you calculate the area of a circle? Mm. Pi r squared? You got it right. That's what I was going to say. Wasn't sure though. Julian, you pick next. Okay. Uh, animals 200. The blue whale is the largest and longest living member of this animal group. Nobody? No. Okay. Mammals. Nobody got oh, that. All right. That's right. <laughs> and last, we have math 100. In, statis in statistics, what is the mode? Ryan. The number that comes up the most? Yep. You got it right. Julian, you have 400 points. Kenny, you have 300. And Ryan, you have 900. We'll be right, next round is a lightning round. We'll be right back after this break. Welcome back to Brain Busters. This is the lightning round. Here's how it works. The person with the least amount of points picks between two categories. I will I will ask all five questions in a category before moving to the second round category. Each question is worth 200 points. The person with the least amount of points at the end of the round is eliminated. Kenny, you have the least amount of score. Okay. You pick first. New Jersey. Okay, here we go. 
surrounded by water on three sides. NJ is the geographic shape of a Surrounded by water on three sides, three sides, NJ is this geographic shape. So you're surrounded by water on three yes. sides. It what does. is it called? I don't know. Peninsula. Okay. 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 Try your luck on this NJ board boardwalk and the oldest and the longest in the world. Even the boardwalk. Atlantic City. Wow. Oh, there we okay. Go. okay. How many counties does New Jersey have? Twenty one. Twenty one. Where is New Jersey what is New Jersey's state bird? Oh my god, come on guys. Goldfinch. What is New Jersey's state capital? Please. Trenton. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that's it for New Jersey. Moving on to theme parks. <coughs> this park in Virginia is owned by Anheuser Busch. Busch Gardens. This company has 13 parks in three countries, including one here in Jackson, New Jersey. Hmm. Nobody? Fine. Six Flags. You're right. Okay. Maurice Piers are located on the boardwalk on this Cape May, on this Cape May County town. I'm gonna read it again. Yeah. Okay. Maurice Piers are located on the boardwalk in this Cape May County town. Nobody. Okay. Wildwood. This mini park is located on Route 22 in Scotch Plains. Nobody? I should know this. I forgot the name of this. Yeah. Okay. It's Bowcraft. Yeah. Yeah, I knew yeah. that. I this California it. park is dubbed the happiest place on earth. Julian. Disneyland. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. How did I not know that? Okay. Julian, you have 800 points. Kenny, you have 300. And Ryan, you have 1,100 uh, points. Dang. Kenny, I'm sorry. You've been chopped. <laughs> Okay, next round, Ryan and Julian are going to battle it out in the final round. We'll be right back after this break. <laughs> Welcome back to Brain Busters. This is the final round where the best out of five questions will determine our winner. There are five questions. Whoever has the most score, whoever answers the most, wins. Let's go on. What family of instruments does drums, piano, and cymbals belong to? Wait, Alien? percussion? Right. Yes. What shape is the board in Chinese checkers? Let me think. Uh, Ryan? It's circular. No. It's a star. Yeah. This brand is the most popular from from a permanent marker. Ryan? Sharpie. Right. What Disney dog shares his last name with this planet? Right. Pluto. Right. Ah. The song Timber is to be Pitbull and this artist. Julian? Kesha. Right. Julian, congratulations! You're the winner of this. You're the winner of this episode of ba Brain Busters. Ryan, you've been chopped. <laughs> what does that mean? It's a show. You watch cooking shows? What? You watch <laughs> cooking shows? I do not watch cooking shows. Well, start watching. <laughs> well, this is all the time we have today for this episode of Brain Busters. Have a good day. <laughs> and thanks for watching. Welcome to Brain Busters. I'm Somer. Today our contestants are Kathy, Chris, and Elena. The game is played in three rounds. In the first round, there are three categories with three questions. The person with control of the board picks a category and point value, and I'll read the question. 
If you know the answer, you raise your hand. The person with their hand raised first is the person I call on. You may only answer a question once. Before we start, we are going to take a minute to meet our contestants. Kathy, tell us something about yourself. Um, hi, my name is Kathy, and I play football, lacrosse, and I wrestle. Chris, tell us something about yourself. Hi, my name is Chris, and I have 100 cats. Elena, tell us something about yourself. Hi, my name is Elena, and I'm actually a blonde. OK, Elena, you can go first, since you have the longest hair. Um, SpongeBob for 100. What is SpongeBob's best friend's name? Elena. Um, Patrick? Correct. You get 100 points. OK. Oh, Would um, like again? SpongeBob for 200. What is SpongeBob's boss's name? Chris. Uh, Mr. Krabs. Correct. You get 200 points. Chris, what question would you like? Uh, SpongeBob for 300. What animal is SpongeBob's pet Gary? Chris. Uh, snail. Correct. You get 300 points. Would you like to pick again? Yeah, um, let's do math for 300. OK. How do you calculate the area of a circle? Elena. Um, is it pi r squared? Correct. <laughs> that was 300? Yes. You get 300 points. Pick um, again. Math for 200. In the equation, 19 plus x equals 25, what is x? Kathy. <laughs> um, six. Correct. You get 200 points. Pick again. Um, math 100. In statistics, what is the mode? Kathy. The number that appears the most. Correct. You get another 100 points. Pick again. Um, animals, 300. Taking his house with him, this slow-moving reptile lives longer than any other. Chris. I want to say a turtle. Yes. You get 300 points. Question, would you like? Uh, let's do animals for 200. OK. The blue whale is the largest and longest living member of this animal group. Kathy. A mammals? Correct. You get 200 points. And now the only question left. Yep. Elvin, Simon, and Theodore are these cute furry rodents. Elena. Chipmunks. Correct. You get the last 100 points. Our scores are Kathy has 500, Chris has 800, and Elena has 500. <laughs> when we come back, it's the lightning round. 10 questions each worth, each worth 200 points. This is still anyone's game. We will be right back after this. Welcome back to Brain Busters. This is the lightning round. Here's how it works. The person with the most amount of points picks between the two categories. I will ask all five questions in that category before moving on to the second category. Each question is worth 200 points. The person with the least amount of points at the end of the round is eliminated. Chris, you have the highest score, so you'll pick the first category. OK, um, New Jersey. OK. Surrounded by water on three sides, New Jersey is this geographic shape. Chris? Uh, it's um peninsula. Correct. You get 200 points. OK. Try your luck on this New Jersey boardwalk, the oldest and longest in the world. 
Kathy? The Atlantic City Boardwalk? Correct. How many counties does New Jersey have? Chris? 12. Incorrect. Anyone else? Kathy? 10. <laughs> also incorrect. Do you have a guess, Elena? Um, 13. No, it was 21. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is the New Jersey State bird? Elena? The eagle. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone else oh. have a guess? Oh, oh. You can't go again. Chris? I'm going to take a guess here on the uh -huh. pigeon. No. Okay. <laughs> I hope that's nobody's state bird. <laughs> Do you have a guess or no? The hummingbird. <laughs> no, it is the goldfinch. Okay. What is the New Jersey state capital? Chris. Trenton. Correct. You get 200 points. Okay. Theme parks. This park in Virginia is owned by Anheuser Busch. Kathy. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Anybody know? Anybody know? Nope. No. It is Bush Gardens. Okay. This company has 13 parks in three countries, including one here in Jackson, New Jersey. Elena. Six Flags. Correct. You get 200 points. Maury's Piers are located on the boardwalk in this Cape May County town. Kathy. Wildwood? Correct. You get 200 points. Okay. This mini park is located on Route 22 in Scotch Plains. Kathy. Boatcraft? Correct. You get 200 points. And finally, this California park is dubbed the happiest place on earth. Anyone, come on. This is the easiest one. <laughs> Wait, California? Yes. Um, Disney World. Right? No? Wrong. That's Disneyland. Disneyland. Yes, it is yes. Disneyland. <laughs> Elena, you get 200 points. Yay. <laughs> okay. So now your scores are Kathy has 1,100, Chris has 1,200, and Elena has 900. <laughs> I'm sorry, Elena, you will not be going on to the final round. Chris and Kathy, congratulations. You will be fighting it out in the final round after a quick break. Welcome back to Brain Busters. This is the final round where the best out of five questions will determine our winner. Okay, our first question is, what family of instruments does drums, pianos, and cymbals belong to? Kathy. Percussion. Correct. Okay. What shape is the board in Chinese checkers? Chris. Um, a circle? No. Kathy. Uh, square. No, it was a star. Oh. Okay. This brand is the most popular form of permanent marker. Chris. Sharpie. Correct. Okay, what Disney dog shares his name with this planet? Kathy. Um, Pluto. Correct. And our final question. The song Timber is by Pitbull, Pitbull and this artist. Kathy. Kesha. Correct. <laughs> Congratulations, Kathy. You win. Sorry, Chris. You lose. Yeah. Be ashamed. <laughs> okay. Well, that's all the time we have today on Brain Busters. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Brain Busters. I'm Joe. Today, our three contestants are Carson, Chris, and Cole. The game is played in three rounds. In the first round, there are three categories with three questions. The person with control of the board picks the category and point value, and I'll read the question. If you know the answer, you raise your hand. The person with their hand raised first is the person I call on. 
you may only answer a question once. Before we start, we're gonna get to meet our contestants. Carson, tell us something about yourself. Okay, I'm Carson, I'm a freshman at GL, and I like to play hockey. Chris. Uh, hi, I'm Chris, I'm a freshman, and I like to play baseball. Cool. Uh, I'm Cole, I'm a freshman at GL, and I like to play uh, lacrosse. Since Carson has a Ranger shirt on, you can go first. SpongeBob for 300. Okay. Taking his house with him, this slow-moving reptile lives longer than... Oh, wait. Wrong one. Uh, what animal is SpongeBob's pet, Gary? Snail? Yeah. Okay. Uh, SpongeBob for 200. Uh, what is SpongeBob's boss's name? Chris. Mr. Krabs. Yep. Okay. Chris. Uh, I guess we'll do math for 100, or 300 actually. Okay. We'll be good with How do you calculate the area of a circle? Oh. Chris. Uh, you, you, do, you do the diameter, or the uh, radius times I squared. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Animals two hundred. Um, the blue whale is the largest and longest living member of this animal group. Mammal. Two hundred. Uh, um, I'll go <clears throat> math for two hundred. Okay. Uh, and nineteen plus x equals twenty five. What is x? Can you repeat the question? In 19 plus x equals 25, what is x? Chris. Six. Yep. Okay, Chris. Uh, SpongeBob for 100. Okay, what is SpongeBob's best friend's name? Carson. Patrick. Yes. Go. Uh, animals for 100. Alfin, Simon, and Theodore are these cute furry rodents. Chris. Chipmunks. Yep. Okay. Animals 300. Uh, taking, okay, taking his house with him, this slow-moving reptile lives longer than any other. Chris. A hermit crab? No. The correct answer was a turtle. Okay. You can go again. Oh, math 100. Uh, in statistics, what is the mode? Chris. Most frequent. Oh, the largest number minus the smallest number? Nah. No. Most frequent number? Yep. Okay. Uh, when we come back, it's the lightning round. Ten questions, each worth 200 points. This is still anyone's game. We will be right back after this. <coughs> Welcome back to Brain Busters. This is the lightning round. Here's how it works. The person with the least amount of points picks between the two categories. I will ask all five questions in that category before moving on to the second category. 
Each question is worth 200 points. The person with the least amount of points at the end of the round is eliminated. Cole, since you have the lowest score, you pick the first category. Um, I'll go with New Jersey. Okay. Surrounded by water on three sides, NJ is this geographic shape. No one. Chris? Uh, a state? Nah. <laughs> the correct answer was peninsula. That's what I was oh, going to wow. say. Uh, try, try your luck on this NJ boardwalk, the oldest and longest in the world. Chris? Jenkinson? No. The correct answer was Atlantic City. How many counties does NJ have? Cole? 21. Yep. Uh, what is the NJ state bird? Golden Earth. Finch. Yep. What is the NJ state capital? Carson. Trenton. Yeah. Uh, okay, theme parks. This park in Virginia is owned by Anheuser Busch. <laughs> no one. All right, it is Bush Gardens. This company has 13 parks in three countries, including one here in Jackson, NJ. Six Flags? Yep. Uh, Maury's Piers are located on the boardwalk in this Cape May County town. Chris? Point Pleasant one? Nah. Uh, the correct answer was Wildwood. Um, this mini park is located on Route 22 in Scotch Plains. Bowcraft? Yep. Uh, this California is dubbed the happiest place on Earth. Disney World. Uh, Disneyland. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Carson has 1,100 points, Chris has 1,000, and Cole has 400. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Cole. You will be going, uh, you will not be going on to the final round. Carson and Chris, congratulations. You'll be fighting it out in the final round after a quick break. Welcome back to Brain Busters. This is the final round where the best out of five questions will determine our winner. Okay, so starting off, what family of instruments does drums, pianos, and cymbals belong to? Percussion. Chris? Yep. Okay, what shape is the board in Chinese checkers? Chris? Rectangle. No. Square? No. The correct answer was a star. Uh, this brand is most popular form of permanent marker. Correct? Sharpie? Yep. Uh, what Disney dog shares his name with this planet? Chris? Pluto. Yeah. And this song, Timber, is by Pitbull and this artist. Kesha? Correct. Chris, congratulations. You are the winner. Carson, you're the loser. Well, that's all the time we have today on Brain Busters. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Sorry, didn't see you there. Welcome to Brain Busters. I am Danny. Today our three contestants are Nick, Josh, and Jake. The game is played in three rounds. In the first round, there are three categories with three questions. The person with control of the board picks a category and points and a point value, and I'll read the question. 
If you know the answer, raise your hand. The person with their hand raised first, I call on. You may only raise your hand once. Before we start, let's get let's take a minute to meet our contestants. Nick, tell us something about yourself. Hi, I'm Nick. I have the longest hair here and I'm a freshman. <laughs> that is true. Josh, tell uh, us something about hi, yourself. I'm Josh and uh, I'm a living, alive person. That's great. Jake, tell uh, us something about yourself. Hi, I'm Jake and I'm a junior. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nick, since you have the longest hair, you pick the category first. Um, I'm going to go for prime time 200. This ABC show follows three different parts of the same family. What? <laughs> oh, uh, Modern Family? Yes. Oh. All right, pick a category. Uh, reality TV 200. Hidden camera show where executives go undercover in their own company. Oh. Josh. Undercover boss. Yes. This is so simple. <laughs> pick again. Uh, Disney 300. Everything the light touches is the kingdom of this young king. Did you say that again? Everything the light touches is the kingdom of this young king. Anyone? Bueller? No? No. All right, it was Simba from The Lion King. Oh. Oh. All right, uh, Jake, a category. Uh, Disney for 200. This Disney snowman likes warm hugs and dreams. Nick. Hola. Yes. Nick, pick a, get it. pick a category. Um, I'm going to go for Disney 100. Miss Potts, Miss Potts tells a tale of, uh, tells a tale as old as time in this Disney class. Josh. Beauty and the Beast? Yes. I hate you. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> How do you know that? It's Disney. Josh, pick a category. Prime Time 100. This show follows uh, Leonard, uh, Sh Sheldon, and their group of nerdy friends. Nick. Big Bang Theory. Yes. Oof. I mean, Leonard, same thing. Uh, Nick, pick a category. Prime Time 300. This show revolves around a team of special agents that conduct uh, criminal investigations involving the U.S. Navy. Um, <laughs> I'm like debating if I should, I don't know. Take a guess. All right, it's NCIS. Dang it, I was going to say that. <laughs> All right, Jake, pick a category. All right, um, reality TV for 100. Um, your judges are Gwen Stefani, Adam Levine, Blake Shelton, okay. and Terrell. Jake. The Voice? Yes. All right, uh, the last category is reality TV 300. Uh, Inventors uh, try to get rich investors to purchase. Oh, oh. Yeah. Shark Tank. Dang yep. it. I should have been behind them. The score is Nick with 300, Josh with 800, and Jake with 100. When we come back, it's the lightning round.
10 questions will be worth, each question will be worth 200 points. This is still anyone's game. We'll be right back after this. You're back. Oh, um, welcome back to Brain Busters. This is the final round where the best out of five questions will determine the winner. All right, here are the questions. What part of the body does a snake use to smell? Nick? Its tongue. Yes. Uh, what should not be open in the house or bad luck? Nick? Umbrella. Yep. Which is the largest planet in our solar system? Nick? In Jupiter. Yes. Nick, you got three out of five. You are the winner. Josh, you are executed. Can we still go on, though? What? Can we still, like, do the yes. other questions? The last wanna... two questions is, in pool, what color is the cue ball? Josh? White. Yep. Um, what fort did Davy Crockett and Jim Bowie defend against Mexico forces? What? Josh? The Alamo? Yes. Uh, Nick still has the lead with three out of five points. Josh, I'm sorry to say, you are executed. Well, that's all the time we have today. Uh, thanks for watching, and come back. Hmm, finally finished the page. Welcome back to Brain Busters. This is the lightning round. Here's how it works. The person with the least amount of points picks uh, between two categories. I will ask five questions in that category before moving on to the second category. Each question is worth 200 points. The person with the least amount of points at the end is eliminated. Uh, Nick, or... Jake, since you have the lowest amount of points, do you choose the category? Uh, movies. Movies? All right. The name of this movie. Name this movie. He's so fluffy, I'm going to die. Nick? Despicable Me. Yes. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio starred in this movie about a stolen identity. Nick? The Great Gatsby? Nope. I don't know. No? It's a movie I know he was in. Uh, catch me if you can. Um. Who said this? I shall call him Mini-Me. Jake? Uh, Dr. Evil. Yep. Uh, Bradley Cooper starred in this movie about a drug that unlocks the full potential of your brain. Oh, I know it. Nick? I know it. Um, it was recent. It was with, like, Scarlett Johansson. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Uh, Josh? Limitless. Yep. Thank you, Josh. Uh, Nick Cage stars in this series of movies about uncovering the U.S. secrets and money. Josh? National Treasure. Yep. All How right. do you know this? <laughs> now we're on Snapple Caps. Uh, flamingos are pink because they eat this pink cuisine. Jake? Shrimp? Yep. Uh, this tree-eating furry flat-tailed rodent can hold its breath for 45 minutes underwater. Beavers? Nick. Yep. Much like plants, in in which season do children grow fastest? Nick? Spring? Yes. <laughs> what is the only vegetable that is classified as a flower? Nick? No, I don't know. All right. Anyone else? Take a guess. Go for it. Go big or go home. <laughs> no, it's broccoli. Um, this common pet fish has the attention span of three seconds. Jack. Goldfish. Mm -hmm. uh, the score is Nick with 900, Josh with 1,400, and Jake with 500. Jake, Get since out. you have the lowest amount of scores, you are executed. Yeah, that's right. Get out. <laughs> and uh, congratulations to
to Josh and Nick. You will be moving on to the next round. We will go on after this short break. Welcome to Brain Busters. I'm Greg. Today our three contestants are Melanie, Kristen, and Vincenzo. The game is played in three rounds. In the first round, there are three categories with three questions. The person will control the board, fix the category, and point value, and I'll read you the question. If you know the answer, you raise your hand. The person with their hand raised first is the person I call on. You only answer one question once. Before we start, we're going to take a minute to meet our contestants. Melanie, could you tell something about yourself? Um, I'm Melanie, and I'm a sophomore. Kristen? I'm Kristen, and I'm a senior, and I have a dog. Vincenzo? Hello, I am Vincenzo, I'm a junior, and I'm from Italy, so I will not understand anything. <laughs> All right, Vincenzo, since you're from Italy, and you're a fellow guy, uh, I'm going to let you go first. So, pick a category and a point okay. value. Okay. Hmm. Disney 400. 100? All right. Mrs. Potts tells you a tale as old as time in this Disney classic. Beauty and the Beast. That's correct. That was Disney for 100? Yep. <coughs> yeah, yeah, it's correct, yeah. Okay. What would you like to take? Um, Disney for 200. This Disney snowman likes warm hugs and dreams of summer. Olaf. Yes. <laughs> Got a life. <laughs> okay. Category? Um, Disney 300. Everything the light touches is the kingdom of this young king. Simba. Yep, there you go. <coughs> okay. Next category? Um, reality TV for 100. Your judges are Gwen Stefani, Adam Levine, Blake Shelton, and Pharrell Williams. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong. Madonna. The Voice? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Madonna. That. One second, just reality TV. Um, reality TV 200. Hidden camera show where executives go undercover in their own company. Undercover bosses? Yeah. Good job. Thanks. We're doing so well. <laughs> Reality TV for 300. Inventors try to get rich investors to... Inventors try to get rich investors to purchase a percentage of their company. Shark Tank? Yes. Okay, cash Peter. <clears throat> okay. Um, Primetime 100. This show follows is it Leonard Shelton, Sheldon and their group of nerdy friends. I should have known that one. Onion? Nope. <laughs> really? Yeah. Big Bang Theory? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I probably pronounced it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, prime time for 200. <laughs> this ABC show follows three different parts of the same family. Sorry, modern family. <laughs> yeah, modern family. <laughs> kind of forgot my job. Okay. Um, well, prime time 300. This show revolves around a team of special agents that conduct criminal investigations involving the U.S. Navy. I don't know that. <laughs> Anyone? It's NCIS. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> the score is <laughs> Melanie with 800 points, Kristen with 700, and Vincenzo, I'm sorry, you have zero points. <laughs> when we come back, it's a lightning round. <laughs> Ten questions, Don't each worry. worth 200 points. This is still anyone's game. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to Brain Busters. This is the lightning round. Here's how it works. The person with the least amount of points picks between the two categories. I will ask all five questions in that category before moving on to the second category. Each question is worth 200 points. The person with the least amount of points at the end of the round is eliminated. Vincenzo, oh. since you have the lowest score, you may pick the first category. <laughs> Movies. Movies. All right. Let's see. Name the movie. He's so fluffy, I'm going to die. Despicable Me. That's correct. I don't have to worry. Okay. Leonardo DiCaprio st starred in this movie about stolen identity. Titanic. No. <laughs> Anyone? Wait. Uh, no. The Wolf of Wall Street. No. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> know. <laughs> <laughs> the answer was, catch me if you can. Oh, no, I wouldn't know. Nope. Right, who said this? I shall call him Minnie Mae. Oh, oh. Well, I forget. Can you repeat, please? 
Who uh, said this? Mini-me. I shall call him Mini Me. Ah, uh, in Italian? Okay. And I. What's his name? It's the doctor from doctor. Austin Powers. What's his name? Oh, God. I want to say. It's close enough. It's Dr. Evil. I was going to say Dr. Evil. Okay. Bradley Cooper starred in this movie about a drug that unlocks the full potential of your brain. Yeah. Can don't you be sad if you haven't. Can you don't know, I don't know this one either. Bradley Cooper starred in this movie about a drug that unlocks the full potential of your brain. No, no, no we don't know that. The correct answer was limitless. Um, yeah, still don't know it. Right. And final question <laughs> in the movies category: Nick Cage stars in this series of movies about uncovering U.S. secrets and money. <laughs> National treasure. That's correct. <laughs> okay. Next category, Snapple Caps. What does it mean? What does it mean, uh, Snapple Caps? Uh, just a couple facts. You'll see. Okay. Flamingos are pink because they eat this pink crustacean. Shrimp. She knows her Snapple wow. Caps. <laughs> wow. This tree-eating, furry, flat-tailed rodent can hold its breath for 45 minutes underwater. Same. Can you repeat that? This tree-eating, <laughs> furry, flat-tailed rodent can hold its breath for 45 minutes underwater. Think Canada. What? Think what? Canada. I think. I thought beaver. Yeah, ah, beaver. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> right about, <all> right. <laughs> Much like plants, in which season do children grow fastest? Spring. Yeah. <laughs> what is the only vegetable that is also classified as a flower? <laughs> Broccoli? Yes! Yeah! No, <laughs> no! Vai così! Alright. <laughs> Final question. <laughs> this common pet fish has an attention span of three seconds. It's a goldfish. That's yeah, correct, goldfish. <laughs> okay, the scores are now. <laughs> Melanie with uh, 2,000 points. Oh. Kristen with 900 points, and Vincenzo with a whopping 200 points. Wow! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Vincenzo. I'm you not. will not be going on to the final round. <laughs> Kristen and Melanie, congratulations. You'll be fighting out in nice. the final round after a quick break. Welcome back to Brain Busters. This is the final round where the best of five questions will determine our winner. You guys ready? Yeah. Ready. What part of the body does a snake use to smell? It's tongue. Got it. Okay. <laughs> what should not be opened in a house or bad luck will rain down on you? Umbrella. I'm going to have to kill the editor for that, <laughs> one, that joke. Uh, <laughs> which is the largest planet in our solar system? Jupiter. Got it. True. In pool, what color is a cue ball? White. What fort did Davy Crockett and Jim Bowie defend against what? Mexican forces? What? <laughs> no, wait, what? What fort did Davy Crockett and Jim Bowie defend against Mexican forces? I feel like I should know this. Yeah, I don't know this at all. It's the Alamo. Oh. Hmm. Nope. Okay, well, <laughs> Melanie, you are the winner of Brain Busters. You get absolutely nothing for winning. Uh, Kristen, <laughs> you lose, but since there's no prize, it doesn't really matter. Uh, that's all the time we have today on Brain Busters. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Brain Busters. I'm Lucas. Today, our three contestants are Abby, Katie, and Sierra. The game is played in three rounds. In the first round, there are three categories with three questions. The person with control of the board fix a category and point value, and I'll read the question. If you know the answer, you raise your hand. The person with their hand raised first is the person I call on. You may only answer a question once. Before we start, we're going to take a minute to meet our contestants. Abby, tell us something about yourself. Um, Abby, and I like superheroes. Okay. Katie, tell us something about yourself. I'm Katie, and I like Chick-fil-A. Sierra, uh, tell us something about yourself. I'm Sierra, and I like Fallout Boy. Okay, uh, Sierra, since you're the only person here that's not from Deerfield, you are going to go first. Uh, SpongeBob for one hundred. 
Okay. What is SpongeBob's best friend's name? Oh, KD. Patrick. That is correct. Oh, um, animals for 100. Okay. Alvin, Simon, and Theodore are these cute furry rodents. Katie again. Chipmunks. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, animal for, animals for 200. This is not about animals, just saying. I don't think so. The blue whale is the largest and longest living member of this animal group. Abby? Mammal? That's correct. Oh my gosh. That's so Abby? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with SpongeBob for 200. What is SpongeBob's boss's name? Katie again? Mr. Krabs. It's correct. Uh, Let's do math. Math. Math for 300. 300. 300. 300. Oh. I'm probably not going to take it. Get it over with. Sad. <laughs> really sad. How do you calculate the area of a circle? Katie? 2 pi r? Mm. Or is that circumference? Uh, Abby? That pi times math? the radius okay. squared? Yeah. I was gonna yeah. Say that. Okay. All right. So, um, get that? Test. I don't think that counts, does it? Just, well, just yes, go. it does. does it, it counts. Yes. Oh. Um, <laughs> I'm going with math for 200. All right. I'm going to roll. I need to get something else for the list. Uh, 19 plus X equals 25. What is X? Abby? Six. That's correct. Uh, math 100. In statistics, what is the mode? What? Oh, wait. Uh, Katie? The most. The big, big, no, no, no. The most, um, No, no, put the hand down. <laughs> the most, like, that's in the, in the number thingy. Sierra? But is it the, the middle? Average? No. It's the middle? Abby? It's the number that appears the most. That's what I was yeah. trying to say. Abby's correct. Okay. Um, animals, <laughs> 300. So you're going to be me. Come at me, Abby. <laughs> Taking his house with him, this slow-moving reptile lives longer than any other. Katie? Snail. Repti no, no, <laughs> reptile, no, 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 no. Um, got it wrong. No. You got it wrong, you can't the, say it. Got I it didn't wrong. Mean, I, I didn't mean, hear reptile. Turtle. Yeah, it's correct. Okay. Uh, SpongeBob 300. Uh, what animal is SpongeBob's pet named Gary? It's Katie? Snail. Okay. That's a snail. Wow. That's a snail, Katie. <laughs> okay, so the scores are Abby with 1,100, Katie with 600, and Sierra with zero. When we come back, it's the lightning round. Ten so questions, sad. each worth 200 points. This is still anyone's game. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to Brain Busters. This is the lightning round. Here's how it works. The person with the least amount of points picks between the two categories. I will ask all five questions in that category before moving on to the second category. Each question is worth 200 points. The person with the least amount of points at the end of the round is eliminated. Sierra, since you have the lowest score, you will pick the first category. Uh, New Jersey. Okay. Surrounded by water on three sides, New Jersey is this, geogra is this geographic shape. Katie? Peninsula? That's correct. Okay. Peninsula. Try your luck on this New Jersey boardwalk, the oldest and longest in the world. Abby? Wait, I don't know. Um, Point Pleasant? No. Mm -hmm. no. No, right? That's not a boardwalk. Okay, you can skip me. Up, Sierra? Um, I'm just going to guess uh, Atlantic City. That's correct. Oh, wow. What? How many counties does New Jersey have? Hmm. Abby? I don't know. Um, I'm going to guess 20? No. 14? No. 16? 13? No. no. Sierra? 20? Close. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, Katie? 19. No. no. Okay. Abby? 21. No, none of your... It's 21, 20, 20. but that doesn't count. Okay. So what is the 21. New Jersey state bird? Abby? Yellow canary? No. Sierra? Yellow finch? No. Oh, what? Close. 
I just Katie? don't want to guess. Okay. It was the goldfinch. What oh. is the New Jersey State capital? Oh. Uh, Sierra? Trenton. That's correct. So, theme parks. This park in Virginia is owned by Ann Hauser Bush. Okay, and some of you know it, it's Bush Gardens. Oh. This oh. company has 13 parks in three ca countries, including one here in Jackson, New Jersey. Oh, okay. That was me, that was me. <laughs> Abby. Uh, Six Flags. Yeah. Maury's Piers are located on the boardwalk in this Cape May County town. Say that again. Maury's Piers are located on this boardwalk in this Cape May County town. Mm -hmm. Abby? Point Pleasant? No. What? That's not Cape May. It's Wait, just a guess. It's a theme park. Do none of you know it? <laughs> no. It's Wildwood. Oh! This mini park ro is located on Route 22 in Scotch Plains. Katie? Boat crack. Uh huh. This California park is dubbed the happiest place on earth. Katie? <laughs> Disneyland. Okay. Uh, okay. Sierra, lost. since you have the low. So I'm sorry, Sierra, you'll not be going on to the final round. Katie and Abby, congratulations. You'll be fighting it on the final round after a quick break. Welcome back to Brain Busters. This is the final round where the best out of five questions will determine our winner. All right. What family of instruments does drums, pianos, and cymbals belong to? Oh, uh, I didn't see. Abby? Percussion. Are you serious? All right. <laughs> what shape is the board in Chinese checkers? Katie? Wait. Oh. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Square. Oh, Katie. Square. No. Chinese check. What? Uh, Abby? It's like a diamond. Chinese what? Okay, I none of you are right. It was a star. What? <laughs> this brand is the most popular form of permanent marker. Abby? Sharpie. I'm going to lose this. All right. <laughs> what Disney dog shares his name with this planet? Oh, Katie? Um. <laughs> Wait. What? <laughs> Jupiter? Abby? Not Jupiter. Pluto. Pluto. I, mean, I don't okay. know why I thought of Jupiter. The song Timber is performed by Pitbull and this artist. Abby? Oh, Kesha. Okay. Okay, well, I lost. That's correct. <laughs> okay, Abby, people. congratulations. You won. Katie, I'm really sorry. You lost. No, you're not. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have on <laughs> Brain Busters. Thanks for watching.